Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Shari. Uh, it's been a long time since I've uh, made up a video uh, for operations and uh, management or production management or even quality control. So today in this a very short uh, video, uh, I would like to explain about the fundamentals of operations uh, management uh, and its relation to productivity. Right. Um, so what is operations management? In short, operations management is the set of activities that create value in the form of goods and services, which uh, you do that by transforming inputs into outputs. For example, from raw materials such as uh, steel, rubber, uh, and, uh, and other materials, uh, or even uh, information, uh, data, and you transform it into outputs. You produce value-added outputs that actually uh, will be uh, consumed or even be sold or be used by consumers or customers. And uh, all organizations actually involve uh, operations. There must be uh, you know, uh, operation functions that exist in all kinds of organizations, including commercial banks, including uh, hospitals, including uh, uh, universities or airlines uh, uh, so so all will be uh, sub, sub, uh, subjected to the need to manage operations efficiently effectively and uh, at the end of the day producing the desired uh, quality requirements by the customers and also uh, meeting your productivity targets so you don't want to produce your products um, with a lot of defects, a lot of uh, problems, a lot of inefficiency that exists, uh, uh, you know, that you, you create along with a lot of bad products and so on. So, so, for example, in manufacturing, when you talk about operations, it will encompass, uh, you know, things like uh, facilities, uh, facilities, uh, production, uh, construction and maintenance, production, inventory control. Quality assurance is uh, surely a very critical uh, component of operations management, supply chain management. Today we're talking about, you know, the uh, disruption of uh, the supply chain due to COVID and how do organizations actually, um, you know, manage uh, to obtain their supplies uh, at the right time uh, in order to produce it. So you need to manage that. You need to understand the concept of supply chain management within operations management and how to coordinate uh, the uh, supply chain activities. Obviously, you need manufacturing or if it is a manufacturing uh, company, then uh, it involves uh, tooling, fabrication, assembly. You know, for example, in the car assembly, it will involve a lot of uh, you know, equipments uh, required in the uh, stamping process, in the welding process, and so on. And design is also an important component in operations. There are people who are going to be involved in product development and design, detailed product specifications. Because at the end of the day, if you do not have any products, you will not be able to uh, sustain you won't be able to be in business you need products to be in business and you must have the technology to produce that and industrial engineering is also a important a very critical important, uh, component i would say for in the, for operations because that's where you actually understand uh, the need to measure the need to improve the need to analyze your uh, the equipment utilization, the space utilization, and also your personnel uh, skills levels and so on. Uh, method study, time study, and so on. And process analysis, development, installation of production tools, and equipment. These are support activities, uh, support services uh, towards the manufacturing uh, uh, processes. Uh, okay. So this is uh, you know, a typical uh, 
what do you call activities of course you have your finance as well as your marketing in order to uh, sell your product in order to actually gain sales uh, and uh, grow the uh, you know the company okay um, so why you study operations management why is it important to study operations management or for that matter it is al almost similar to production management production and operations management well it is uh, it is one of the three major functions of any organization which is finance marketing and operations and uh, the the most important thing is we want to study how people organize themselves for productive active enterprise so we need to manage the uh, you know the resources so people is also considered as one of the inputs in the transformation process and secondly we want to know how goods and services are produced from right from design from you know understanding what customer needs are designing it producing it and uh, assurance quality assurance and control activities that will be able to meet your customer uh, requirements fulfill customer needs and at the end of the day customer is satisfied for your product okay and um, also we need to know what operations manage managers do and if you are the operations manager you need to understand the the whole spectrum of activities that is uh, required you don't need to be an expert in all the areas you need to know uh, you know the key things that you need to uh, how to manage effectively how to organize effectively how to uh, ensure that all the processes meet requirements eh, and also quality and productivity level and also you know a lot of companies uh, start to realize that it is uh, such a costly part of an organization it's very costly to because where that's where the workers are where that's where the investment in the equipments are that's where you're going to control your suppliers that are where you're going to control your quality so it's very costly if you do not manage it effectively you're going to lose a lot of money you're going to lose a lot of uh, underutilized resources you're not be able to fully uh, utilize your human resources okay it's very important that this is uh, understood okay uh, there are many issues that uh, that need to be uh, decided there are this so-called the strategic decisions the design of goods because it's related to for example they need to manage the uh, the products that you produce uh, you know how many machines do you need uh, how many production line do you need or even in service counters like banks uh, how many service counters do you need for uh, for example trying to um, manage or entertain a number of uh, clients or customers and quality decisions on quality managing quality is critical today quality should be uh, given uh, in should be something which is uh, mandatory it's no more uh, you know an additional uh, to the to the product it is a uh, it must have it is a must have characteristics for the customers uh, to buy again or to come again uh, to your uh, to your company process and capacity design location strategy how near are you to the customer suppliers so these are all add up to cost okay the location uh, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of logistics, and also in terms of uh, the need to be close to government uh, facilities. Okay. And other things, layout strategy, human resources, and job design uh, are also key strategic decisions, operations management, supply chain management, the, you have to integrate supply chain into the firm strategy, what to purchase, where to purchase, you know, the current. Con uh, pandemic COVID has uh, really disrupted the uh, global supply chain so probably a uh, regional supply chain will be much more you know effective and efficient inventory management inventory is costly to the organization so how much inventory do you need to keep so there are models there are 
you know, analytical tools for you to manage your inventory, uh, scheduling, maintenance. So these are all the key, okay, key, actually uh, key strategic decisions that is uh, required by uh, organizations to actually uh, understand and also how to um, uh, what do you call uh, decide and think about it okay so i think that is all for this short video if you like the video please share to other friends uh, and also i'll be sharing some of my um, classes uh, video classes that actually will be uh, available for for people to actually uh, view and uh, try to get uh, some knowledge thank you very much uh, you know good luck in your uh, endeavors and future activities assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh